Welcome everyone. Today I will be talking about the valvular assessment. Let's see how to assess any valve in echocardiography. And first, we will start by valvular calcification. Here the valvular calcification, as you can see, it is seen in 2D echo and uh, in M mode actually. In M mode you will see uh, the bright color and the bright white color of the calcification and in 2D mode you will see the thickening of the valve and the heterogeneous ecogenicity clearly. Here is a mycotic aneurysm in the valve as you can see the circle here. Thanks for listening. With the color Doppler in mitral regain. Here as you can see there is a liaising which is seen as a jet mosaic color that represents the regurg. Actually when there is regurg the backflow of the blood is at a very high speed to be recorded by the Doppler. That's why when we add the color Doppler we will see uh, there is a liaising in this area represented as a mosaic color as seen here. The most important step in assessing the level of the regurg, which is measurement of the vena contract. As you see marked here, there is a part that is narrowest in the jet of the mosaic color. Here you can measure it by 2D planimetry normally. If the degree of the regurg or the vena contract is smaller than 0.3 it is a mild regurg. If it is between 0.3 and 0.7 it is a moderate regurg. If it is more than 0.7 it is a severe regurg. Is the holosystolic jet mosaic color. If you see the jet mosaic color through the whole system of the heart this means that it is a severe aortic regurg. I will see the regurg in the opposite to normal direction. The normal is up, the regurg will be down. If it is dense and triangular, this means that the regurg is severe. If it is soft and parabolic like above, the regurg is moderate or mild. Another sign suggesting severity is the dilatation. The dilatation in the left atrium means that this regurg is severe. And now with the proximal isovelocity surface area, which is the PISA technique. Here we measure the regurgitant flow to assess the severity of the regurg. A one like measuring the vena contracta, but it is more difficult and it needs a more sophisticated devices that can measure the piece of technique. Here we get the radius of the vena contracta by 2D planimetry normally. Uh, and as we know, the area of any circle is 2 by R squared. We will make 2 by R squared. R is the vena contracta. Then we multiply it by the velocity. Actually, you will ask me how can I get the velocity of the blood returning back. I will tell you. We start to change the gain. The gain at which the liaising starts to appear defines the velocity of the valve. The, you don't have to know the equation quite well as the device will perform it if it can get the PISA technique. But now, with the normal values, what shall I get in the PISA technique? If the value is between 0 and 0 0.2, it is mild. If it is between 0 0.2 and 0 0.4, it is moderate. If it is more than 0 0.4, it is severe. with the mitral and aortic vegetations. Here as you can see this echocardiography is awesome in that it contains both the mitral and the aortic valve vegetations. You can see it here as a ball or a vertical like mass 
that's moving with the valve and if it is present I prefer that you check thoroughly for vegetations or perforations a tricuspid vegetation as you can see and it led to a perforation and a valvular perforation actually the problem here is that you will miss the presence of perforation as you will see a jet lag on the color doppler you may consider it as a regerge only but if you check thoroughly you will pre you will see that there is a perforation as seen in the 2d echo on the right Another method for assessing a valve which actually is used to detect the stenosis is a continuous wave if you throw a continuous wave in any straight line in echocardiography as you seen here it will get you the peak velocities in this area so if we add continuous wave on the aortic valve as you can see here if there is aortic stenosis you will see a peak that is higher than 250 centimeter in velocity we know the 250 centimeter is the normal peak if it is higher it means the presence of stenosis here we add a pulsed wave at the mitral valve and uh, to draw the flow through the mitral valve as you can see we trace this flow to get the mean pressure gradient or we take the steepest slope as seen here and get it by pressure half time and then and now with the mitral valve area actually there is a lot of techniques to get the mitral valve area one of them is so easy it is a planimetry just to trace the mitral valve and it will write for you the area another method which is more accurate is to get it by the pressure uh, half time or the mean pressure gradient which is the most accurate now with the aortic valve measurement in the aortic valve actually we measure the root of the aortic valve which is the LVOT and it's signed here after we get the LVOT diameter, we measure the sinus of Valsalva, which is signed here. After that, we measure the sinotubular junction, which is signed here. The aortic root shall be 3 cm, the sinus of Valsalva shall be 3.5, and the sinotubular junction shall be 3 cm. Please like and subscribe to my channel.